Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Each week I record the cloud computing tech news and shows and I really appreciate all the support on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. It means so much to me and the Nelson Hilliard crew. Make sure you remember to click the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the latest shows. If you like cloud tech blogs on cybersecurity, blockchain and all things cloud tech topics, be sure to check out and subscribe to our latest blogs. Below there is a link. And watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And if you don't want to watch David and I talking on the shows, all the shows are on Stitcher and iTunes as podcasts. I've included the link below. Remember to connect and reach out to me and my team. Below in the description box are the social media links for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. This week saw AWS Error expose thousands of GoDaddy business secrets. An error in AWS bucket configuration has led to the exposure of internal information belonging to hosting provider GoDaddy. Cybersecurity firm UpGuard's cyber risk team said on Thursday that a set of documents were left in an Amazon S3 bucket which was available to the public. According to the UpGuard, the information involved in the security breach appeared to describe GoDaddy's architecture as well as high-level configuration information for tens of thousands of systems for those running those systems in Amazon AWS, including the discounts offered under different scenarios. The security failure appears to have been the work of an AWS salesperson who failed to follow best practices for storing information. No GoDaddy customer information was in the bucket that was exposed. While Amazon S3 is secure by default and the bucket access is locked down to just the account owner and root administrator under default configurations, the salesperson did not follow AWS best practices with the particular bucket. I would not want to be that AWS salesperson. This week sees Sydney University and the four big Australian banks move to tackle cyber security skills. They will deliver cybersecurity training to high school students around the country as part of a skills push from the federal government. The Cybersecurity Challenges for High School program will see the banks and university and British Telecom taking on digital technologies of the Australian curriculum for years 7 to 10 from October this year. Over 30,000 students from across Australia are expected to take part in the program, which has been granted 600,000 Australian dollars in federal funding through Australian Cyber Security Grown Network, or OST Cyber, and will be run through the university's Australian Computing Academy. This week sees the World Bank announce plans to release the world's first blockchain bond. The World Bank just released an official statement of their mandate to the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, or CBA, to arrange a global bond that uses a distributed ledger technology in its life cycle. The new bond will be called BONDI, which is an acronym for Blockchain Offered New Debt Instrument and also refers to a famous spot in the country called Bondi Beach. According to CNBC, BONDI will use a private Eurythium based blockchain considering that it has the required capabilities. However, CBA said that they are open for other options in the future as the project develops. The World Bank and CBA are working together with Microsoft in developing Bondi with World Bank's infrastructure in Washington DC running the bond on Microsoft Azure cloud computing platform. This week sees a market research report from Markets and Markets that serverless architecture market is estimated to be worth 14.93 billion US dollars by 2023. Automation and integration services are expected to account for the largest market share in 2018 as they play a fundamental role in the deployment of serverless architecture. Automation services help efficiency manage microservices which are deployed on hybrid IT platforms to provide faster response along with optimum resource utilization. SMEs are rapidly moving their traditional on-premise solutions to cloud. This change significantly reduces operational costs and helps achieve profits. The media and entertainment is one of the fastest growing verticals in the serverless architecture market during the forecast period. In the past, media and entertainment companies faced the challenge of managing and supporting complex workflows and new data formats with uncertain revenue and monetization. 
I'm Brad Nelson and thanks for watching this week's Cloud Tech News Cloud Peeps. Get in touch if you have a company news story that you'd like to see featured. You can email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you can check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.